after I did all that, I headed out on my first solo trip. I went to the Massasauga Provincial Park and um, I stayed on a site on Conjure Lake. I brought my Perception Tribute, which is my smallest kayak. And um, it's very easy to portage, even though I know some people say don't portage kayaks, but I didn't have my uh, canoe at the time. So took it out there and uh, set myself up. I was pretty good, I felt great. I had done tons of day trips, paddling, hikes, all by myself. Daytime, no problem. I got there, it was supposed to rain that weekend quite a bit. So I set up my tent pretty far back in the campsite, you know, so it was nice and sheltered from the bad weather. And um, darkness came. I'm afraid of the dark. I don't know if some of you know that about me, but I'm afraid of the dark. And uh, so I called my mommy. I had a cell signal. I said, mommy, I'm scared. And I, you know, sucked it up. I broke out my glow sticks. I probably had enough to start my own rave. Um, but uh, after that, I finished my fire and it was about 11.30 and it was time to go to my tent and it was way back in the forest. And I was like, uh-uh. So I went and I cut the tarp down and I took the tent and I moved it all to the front of the campsite so that I would feel safe, right? That did two things. It made me feel safe because I was out in the open and it also tired me out and exhausted me so I could finally go to sleep. I slept for about six hours that night, but I survived. I made it through my first night by myself. And after that, it got easier and easier. Uh, I had many solo trips after that. The second one I did was actually a winter trip. Um, I was at a car campground, but I was the only one there and I was brought <coughs> into my site by ATV, so I consider it a solo trip. I did seven solo trips in 2016, and then I did another three in early 2017. And what that did was it finally gave me the confidence. I wasn't scared anymore. I was finally, it was getting dark at night, and I wasn't scared. I was like, oh, wow, this is great. I'm not scared anymore. You get used to it, right? Like everything, you practice and you get experience and you get better at it. So I wasn't scared anymore, and I finally got to do what I had been wanting to do all this time, go out on some big trips, or what I call big trips. You know, I work like most of you, I'm, I'm off on the weekends, I don't have a lot of time to go for weeks at a time on these big long trips. So I did what I call my big three trips of 2017. Uh, the first one was a kayaking trip with my Delta on the French River, it was four days and three nights, it was a beautiful trip. French River is gorgeous if you have a chance to explore it. Uh, the second trip was in Algonquin Park, and uh, for that trip, I was loaned a canoe from uh, a lovely person named John, who's actually here from Backcountry Custom Canoes. And uh, he brought a canoe similar to the one I used. The one I had was 27 pounds, and it allowed me to do 14 portages on my first trip. Before that, I had only done one portage myself carrying a canoe with my friend Sam in Killarney. So it was a pretty big deal for me, and it was a really challenging trip. Um, the third big trip was in Killarney. It was four days and three nights. It was supposed to be five days, but uh, there was really bad winds, and so I had to cancel. I had to leave a day early, and that's something that my experiences and all the training that I had taught me what to do, right? You know, you're going to get 50 kilometer winds, you got to get out. You're not going to sit there and try to paddle in them. You might as well just go, right? Better safe than sorry. Always be safe first. So, my most challenging trip was in Algonquin, and uh, it's my favorite trip because of that, right? I got to lean back and use my skills and all the training that I had, and um, I made up a video of some of the most challenging moments that I faced on my solo trips. So here it is. Sun's down in the terrace of the prairies. I dropped the GoPro in the bay. Hey, well, uh, my hair is pretty frozen. <laughs> Something funny on my foot. Uh, there's like a giant blood sucker. The things I was worried about today, losing my shoe <laughs> was definitely not one of them. Ah! Um, like I said, it's very windy. I might as well be paddling out here with my eyes closed. <laughs> This is so bad, and it's about to get dark, and I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm going. So the 
rain finally came and uh, it came with a big bang, literally. <laughs> I'm like 50 feet from the site and of course the sled falls over. Oh. Now the mosquitoes, they knew that there was no wind in there and they came in there and just had a feast on my face and my head and I'm carrying the canoe and I'm trying to like swat myself. I'm definitely not a singer, but uh, when you're out there on a portage by yourself, you got to do something to keep the bears away, right? So make noise. Um, those were some of the challenging moments that I faced, and like I said, that those are my favorite things, right? When you when you go on a trip and you overcome obstacles, you get back, and you're just like, wow, that was awesome. Uh, but every cloud has a silver lining, right? And uh, there's also a lot of great moments that I experienced while I've been out there. And I also made a little video clip of those. So here you go. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so pretty here. I don't want to leave. Well, this is only the second time this entire weekend that um, I'm going with the current. <laughs> The good news is that the sun has come out and it looks absolutely gorgeous out there so I'm excited that I'm not paddling in the pouring rain. And I got fish in my belly. Yay! I'm super happy because I have finally achieved the sweet spot on this canoe. Good morning. Well it is a balmy minus 14 outside. And um, I am sitting in here roasting. Uh, temperature is 46.7 degrees. It just keeps getting better and better. This video doesn't even do it justice. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. So I'm sitting at my site, having a fire, waiting for my food, and I look up and I see the most beautiful moon I've ever seen. So I'm at these awesome waterfalls where I accidentally ended up, and I thought, you know what, I gotta cast a few in here. It's what? Caught a fish. It's snowing quite a bit right now, it's pretty awesome. Made it. Yes. I would have never gotten to experience any of those moments if I was sitting at home alone on my couch waiting for someone to say, yeah, I'll come camping with you. So there are a lot of reasons to go solo if that's something you want to do. Um, there's a lot of great resources out there on the internet. There's great people here today. It's probably why a lot of you are here. Talk to the experts, get some experience. If soloing is something that you want to do, then why not get out there? Thank you. Hang on, I got some prizes. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank some uh, great sponsors who have donated some prizes. I've got down here uh, two free shoe coupons from Keen Canada. I'm wearing my new Keens today, actually. Love Keens and uh, Purinize water purification drops. I have two of those. 
I've got two of the unisex camper Christina tees that just say camper in case guys don't want to walk around with Christina on their shirt. And um, Backcountry Custom Canoes uh, not only brought this canoe for my presentation to show off, but they also brought uh, a homemade lem saw, which is uh, pretty cool. So that's here and it's up for grabs. Uh, I'm going to ask my brother Ralph if he could come up here and help me. Do you mind, Ralph? Say hi to Ralph, everybody. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Ralph. I don't want to seem biased. I know a lot of you people out here, so um, I'm going to ask a question. And the first person to put up their hand, Ralph, you just say, you know, the lady in the pink, the girl in the green, whatever, point to them. And then they can answer. If they get the answer right, you guys get the answer right, come up here and grab whichever prize you want. Um, I'd like as many people to get prizes as possible. So, you know, if you win one, maybe you save the rest for someone else, okay? All right. Here we go. Uh, I didn't use my speech at all. <laughs> All right, how many solo trips did I do in 2016? <laughs> the girl in the red, Sue? Seven. <laughs> Seven is correct. Come on up and get something. All right, where were the three what I call big <coughs> trips that I did in 2017 located? I think the lady, yeah, lady in the purple. French Lock, Killarney and Algonquin, come on up. Congratulations. Name one of my brands of water vessels, either kayak or canoe. Lady with the hat, right there. Tribute kayak. And, is it two? Did I say two? Yeah, two. Did I say one? Oh, all right, come on up. <laughs> I got two on my paper, you want to lucked out on that one. Um, what was stuck to my foot at the end of my five day Gonquin trip? <laughs> Young man right here at the front. Leech. A leech, you got it. And I still have a scar on my foot from that sucker and it still itches, believe it or not. I have one prize left. It is a large Camper Christina shirt. That might take some of the people out of the running. Who makes the canoe that is here with me today? Guy who's holding his hat in the air. Backcountry Custom Canoes. Thank you, John, for bringing that. Thank you. Come on up. I just want to thank you guys for being such a great audience for all your participation. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, congratulations to those of you who got prizes. Um, I need to get off the stage for the next presentation, but I'm going to be right over there. If anybody wants to come up, I'd love to meet some of you. I have some <laughs> stickers to give out. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show and have a great day. Thank you so much.